Today's hottest music, Hot 103 Henry G here with you on a Sunday afternoon. Special Bay Area Thiz Latin edition of the show. Right now I'm joined by one of the most recognized names in the Bay, the veteran Mr. Key. Welcome to the show. How you doing today? What's cracking, man? How you doing, man? I'm good. Doing good, thanks. First of all, let everybody know where you're from and how would you describe the hip-hop scene out there in the Bay Area? Uh, man, I'm from Frisco, California, man. San Fran, out here in the Bay Area. Um, it's still it's it's it's, it's popping, man. It's uh, I don't know if y'all ever heard of the Heisey movement out there. We we did that with Mac Dre, rest in peace, and everything. But you know, there is artists out here that got some real skills, and you know, what I mean, everybody. I mean, it seems like everybody rap. You know what I mean? But there's only a chosen few that you know get through the cracks and and actually get out there. Now, when people think about Chicano rap, they don't necessarily think about Bay Area Latin hip hop. How would you describe the game out there, your guys' flow out there, and what you guys are talking about? Man, first of all, this is the planet Bay Area. <laughs> it's a whole nother world, man. Um, you know, everywhere else I go, I mean, even out in the valley in California, down to L.A. and everything like that, they all trip off us because, I mean, our swag is a little different. You know what I mean? I, I, I was born and raised in Frisco, man, and, um, you know, just raised black, Samoan, Filipino, like a melting pot. You know what I mean? So it's a little different. We don't just stick to ourselves. So I didn't really grow up as far as, you know, uh, the Chicano rap and stuff like that, you know? Um, just I don't even I mean to tell the truth man I don't even speak Spanish you know I wish I did I, you know nothing against it of course I'm Latin for life I'm Cuban and Nicaraguan but I mean you know I just it's just a whole other swag out here man and it's, it's it's hard to explain to people unless you gotta grow up like that you know what I mean now you've had the opportunity to work with one of the top Latin artists in the game in SPM you've also though worked with some of the top artists out there in the Bay some of the legends Mac Dre Be Legit 11.5 Sibo Talk a little bit about what it's meant to you to work with artists of that magnitude and how you feel it's helped improve your game. Well, I mean, ever since the first album, I mean, working with all them cats, that's why I called it 14K of Dreams, because, I mean, the list goes on with the people that I've worked with. I've, I've worked with everybody out here. I mean, uh, from, from um, just like you said, legends, man. Uh, my boy Cool, now he passed away. Mac Dre passed away. Like, dealing, working with all them cats, that's why the album's called 14 Care Dreams. It was like a dream come true. And, um, you know, at first I was nervous, but uh, it basically got me to, to, you know what, I either got to step it up or, or get out the way you know what I mean so that's that's what I even tell you know uh, cats coming up right now it's like man especially if you're Latin and everything it's just like look at look at Eminem like he he rips you know what I mean he does his thing so I mean he had to prove himself he had to prove that he did that you know what I mean so being able to rap with people like that I don't want to say up against but I mean it's kind of like that going you know going toe to toe with these cats and it's it's all it's all friendly competition but you know with, with all these rappers that I rapped with you know what I mean I, it, it's, it's win lose a draw it's like I, I went in there swinging you know what I mean so it made me a better rapper because I always knew I had to I had to prove myself and, and um, just come as tight as possible today's hottest music Hot 103 Henry G here with you on a Sunday afternoon special guest the Latin Plague Mr. Key straight out of San Francisco California we got more to talk about here those Mr. Key with one of those collabs that he was talking about one of those features with one of the best artists out there in the bay this is Mr. Key Mr. Fab I'd rather be Hot 103. Today's hottest music, Hot 103, Henry G here with you on a Sunday afternoon. Special guest, Mr. Key, straight out of San Francisco, California. Now, when you were just starting out in the industry, your rap career, what was the first sign of progress you saw that gave you optimism and made you believe that you could rap professionally? Um, it was the same reaction that I got from every every um, every artist I, uh, I worked with was uh, the funny thing was every time I walked in the studio or they walked in the studio you know they looked me up and down kind of like okay just another day in the office but when I actually did my thing and they were like oh snap okay okay you know they, they had to they had to get their game face on you know what I mean and I love that I love that feeling because it happened every time it happened every time that I got in the booth every time I came out the booth every time I got on stage anybody I dealt with because I mean I'm a humble person I'm a quiet person I don't run around saying, yeah, I'm the best, woo woo this and that. You know, I, I let my... Um I let my uh, my work speak for my for uh, for itself, and I've always got good reactions. So that like that right there sparked me. And, I, and if you want to get really deep, I mean, the first time I heard just I'm sitting on the um, sitting on the front stairs, and just a car passing by playing one of my songs. You know what I mean? I, I knew my album was getting sold, and it was out there, and that really sparked me to just like, oh wow, you know, from the first autograph to all that, you know, so on and so on. So that was like I knew I knew I had something. 
Now the Bay Area has a legendary underground scene. Artists such as Mac Dre, R.I.P., Selly Cell, Brother Lynch Hung, Richie Rich, Spice One. But do you feel overall that the, the Bay Area Latin hip hop is slept on? Because there are a lot of talented artists out there. I mean, it is, it's slept on, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a, like I said, man, I'm a firm believer in, in step it up and get out the way. You know, there, there is a lot of cats that, that uh, to, to be honest, are whack. You know what I mean? So, but that's that's in any race, that's in any anybody doing it. So it's like um, a lot of people kind of you know judge a whole race off of a couple cats. You know what I mean? So it's like that's why I I, I constantly tell, especially other Latinos, like. You know, don't even put it out if you ain't been happy with it. If you ain't got your skills all the way up, because especially your first album is gonna be, it could be your last, because you're never gonna get looked at. The, you never, you know what I mean? So it's really like, get it together or don't do it at all. So I mean, that's that's my whole, that's the motto. Now we touched on you work with some of the the legends out there in the Bay Area. You've also worked again with SPM. Of all the features that you've been able to do. Is there any that stand out to you and that have special meaning to you? If so, which ones and why do they mean so much to you? Um, man, uh, anything that I did with Kugnet, you know, just based on, uh, you know, he, he passed away and uh, actually um, was is somebody I looked up to from Frisco. And um, I, I did a song also on my last album uh, with, uh, with Nate Dog. Um, he's on it. I mean, I mean, it's kind of messed up to say that, that those are two people that passed away, but it's, that's not even really the reason. It was like, it was just, it was just uh, an honor to do something with them in the first place, and um, especially like uh, what I said about Kugnet. You know, he was the first one who, who, who really just was telling me, "Man, you got skills. You know, eat them, just get them. You gotta, you know, don't look at it as uh, playing basketball like you're pretty good for a girl. You know, just because you're Latin, it's just like, man, just eat them up. That's all you got to do." And he, he made me my pit bull face on, you know, my Rottweiler face on, and just, you know, I, I, like I said at first when I rapped with all these guys, I was kind of nervous and everything, but then it was just like, you know, hey, I'm just as good as them, if not better. Henry G here with you on a Sunday afternoon special guest, Mr. Key, straight out of San Francisco, California. Now, we've touched on some of the legends in the Bay that Mr. Key's worked with. Mr. Key has actually also reached legendary status out there in the Bay for his storytelling. I think this song right here is going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. This is Music Box, Mr. Key, Hot 103. Today's hottest music, Hot 103, Henry G here with you on a Sunday afternoon special guest, Mr. Key, one of the legends of Bay Area Latin hip hop. Now, you're a seasoned veteran. You've been doing it for a lot of years, holding it down for a lot of years out there in the Bay. What are some of the biggest changes you've seen in the industry, whether it be in Bay Area Latin hip hop, Chicano rap, or just Bay Area underground in general? Um, not really, no, you know what I mean? Not too much change. I mean, because there's really, there's really not too much more you can do compared to what's been done. But I mean, as far as, as far as, you know, the online movement, just, you know, that got, that got a lot bigger compared to, you know, pushing CDs. Like, cause I mean, when we started, we had to get out there and actually, you know, push the flyers, do, do everything hand to hand, like street combat and, and actually get them records sold in the stores and stuff like that. Now everybody just doing this Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff, which is cool if you're, if you're doing it right. But I mean, it, it, people seem to forget that they still have to get out there. I mean, cause there's a lot of cats that think they're, you know, they're, they're, they're hot. Right. Because because of how many Facebook friends and Twitter and, and people saying that they're hot on there, but that doesn't calculate in the record sales, man. That, that you know what I mean? I put it like that. Like I don't give a damn who you are and how hot you think you are. Like man, sell some records, <laughs> get some money in your pocket, and and then talk. You know what I mean? Right now, if you could work with any artist in the industry, whether it be Chicano rap, hip hop, who would you most want to work with and why? Uh, Eminem. Eminem, why's that? Just for him not giving a damn and, and, you know, going through everything he went through and just, just his music, man. I, it, when I first time I heard him, it made me feel like, you know, to loosen up on my lyrics and just have fun with it. Like, he's just crazy. That's, that's you know, there's a lot of rappers out there, you know, from Jay-Z to Drake and all the cats that are dope. But just the way he just put his whole life out there, put everything out there for you to see. Because, I mean, that's what we're here for, really. You know what I mean? We, we uh, give you a little piece of our soul every time. And... I I don't think there's nobody else besides him that gave more of his own soul and, and, and private life than, you know, than that guy right there. What do you want to say to everyone right here in Las Cruces, the 575, still sleeping on Bay Area Latin hip hop? Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wake up, man. Holla at your boy, Mr. Key, man. Ladies out there, holla at me. Everybody out there, holla at me. If you're doing music, man, like I said, hit me on the Twitter, hit me on the Facebook and everything. Don't be scared, man. Let's, let's, let's network. Stop uh-huh. sleeping on the bed. Today's hottest music, Hot 103, Henry G here with you on a Sunday afternoon special guest, Mr. Key. Now, Mr. Key, thanks for being a part of On a Sunday Afternoon. It was an honor to have you on. Go ahead and pick one of your songs. Introduce it for everyone out here in Las Cruces. What do we got? What do we got? We got Summertime. We got uh, The Bay. We got... We got. Oh, let's let's do that since we're on the subject of Don't Sleep on the Bay. Let's, let's get into that, uh, The Bay. Um... We got a couple cats on there, Mr. Fab, Balance, a couple other cats on there. And uh, my last words is, man, don't get mad, get money. Here it is. This is a tribute to Tupac, Mac Dre, Mr. C, Hitman. This is The Bay, Hot 103.